Then Peggy, Rick Barber hits the beach every morning, not to work out or just to walk his dogs. Armed with his camera, he ventures out to catch a sight few people get up early enough to see. He never misses a day. And as luck would have it, I chose the one morning to go out with him on a Gunkwit beach that was the coldest so far this fall. The temperatures were in the 30s, our fingers were numb, and as you'll hear, the wind was howling. I wake up at 4.30 without the alarm even going off. Rick Barber hasn't always been an early riser. I probably was always a late afternoon and a night owl. Like most things worth having, he worked at it. It is so quiet down here and anywhere. It's like nice to see the world start and the day start and just get going. So I became a morning person. The reason he does it? To soak up the very first rays of sun. There's something about the start of the day it's a revival, it's a way that one can get going again. And so to watch the sun come up means that we have another day given to us to do, do good things for each other. I used to miss a few days. But not anymore. Yeah, I had a Facebook memory come up recently that showed me that it was seven years ago. It was one of the first pictures that I took that I actually embraced the picture and made, made something out of it. It's something that was sort of the beginning of this habit. In the last seven years, Rick has captured more than 2,500 sunrises, give or take a few. I think there's a good number of people who just will never see the light of the light of morning, you know, and that's okay. That's just who they are. A couple years ago, he realized sharing his pictures meant something to people. This year, especially, more people were not able to come to Gunkwood or come to Maine or do their experience that they normally have. So a lot of people are telling me how much the pictures mean because they're able to experience being here without being here and feeling a little less lonely at home, which that just worked hard. If a picture's worth a thousand words, Rick has something to say every morning. Yeah, that's what we're all here to do is take care of each other. All right. Each morning, Hope and Ty get to enjoy the sunrises too. A few years ago, Rick started tweeting his sunrise photos to local weathermen and reporters he'd met. The Weather Channel picks it up a, a video or a, a picture and shoots it out there. He's been as surprised as anyone to see their reach. I get phone calls or texts from friends who say, oh, you know, who don't live in this area, who say, oh, I just saw your picture on Weather Channel. I just saw your picture on NECN or whatever. So it's it's kind of a... A fun, a fun thing, and, you know, and it's also kind of fun to connect with those people. You know, they they see my name and then they reach out, and so it's kind of a nice reconnect. Rain or shine, snow or sleet. It's in the middle of winter when I get up and it's four degrees outside that I'm crazy doing it. It really is my favorite part of the day, <clears throat> but this part right here where it just comes over the edge. For a long time, Rick didn't consider himself a photographer. Oh, he just thought I was took pictures. He's finally embracing his talent. He, uh, I would prefer to see a morning with a few clouds in the sky. That will, and I really like when we have a lower tide, and so you have a lot of soft water to just reflect off of. And if there's enough clouds in the sky, the sun tends to reflect off of those like half hour before the sun actually comes up. So if you get up with the sun in a gunkwit, odds are you'll catch a glimpse of a man with his camera. You know, there's, there's Trying to make the world a little brighter, one picture at a time. It's lifting people's spirits and making people happy, and that's kind of what we're here for. Rick takes dozens of photos every morning with his camera and his iPhone. He told me he has more than 50,000 photos in his iCloud right now. What does he do with all these pictures? Well, he makes calendars, he frames his photos, and donates them to local benefits. Right now, he has an exhibit at Clay Hill Farm in Agunquit that runs till the end of this month. If you want to follow him on social media, head over to the 207 section of our website or mobile app. 
Amanda, I gotta say his work is absolutely beautiful, but I have immense admiration for anybody who can get up that early every single day. And it gets harder and harder if you've noticed as it gets darker in the morning, at least for me. Oh, it does, <laughs> it does. So good on him, great story.